Now, the double-sided flip page. Once again, I got my inspiration from this book by Matthew Reinhardt. Since it will be very thick here, and you have to cut some slits at intervals so as to release the pressure and fortunately because this is the inside of the stable so the slits will enhance the shabby look of the stable and in this book the lower part is divided and also here The glue tab can go either this way or that way as you like. The key to this mechanism is that the width of this one or the height of this one, this part is the same as the height of this part. And the pull tab will be glued here and a diagonal piece will be glued here. And when you lay it flat, the pull tab will pull this hinge in that direction. So, when you glue the glue tab, you have to leave at least the same width as this part. So, that is 2cm in this case. On hindsight, I should have made the pull tab a little bit wider. You can even add another pull tab right here. But since I wanted to add another parallelogram right here, which doesn't have any in this page, so I couldn't add a pull tab here. Gluing the pieces together is also very simple. So for this diagonal piece, you put glue on the glue tab here and then lay it shut and then put glue here and then glue it then it will glue at the its natural closed position and likewise for this parallelogram the guard of the pull tab doesn't need a lot of measurements but the big thing is you don't glue it very tight just leave some space underneath so that the pull tab can move freely. I hope you like by sharing today. Look out for tutorials for other mechanisms. Thanks for watching. Bye.